I Can't Help But Kiss You, a miraculous ladybug fanfiction written and narrated by Mira Rose. Artwork by Liviana on Instagram. You can find a link to her Instagram in the description box. Go check her out. She's full of super cute art and even participated in the Adrian Agrest design. Go check her out. Once again, link in description box. Now then, for those of you who are new to this channel, this is where I, Mira, hi, that's me, write and narrate Miraculous Ladybug fanfiction for you to enjoy in an audiobook format. There's a myriad of reasons why people would prefer fanfiction in an audiobook format, but we won't get into that right now. Instead, go ahead and subscribe to this channel, hit the bell to stay up to date on the latest parts of your favorite fanfiction, and leave a like and a comment. If you don't know what to comment to support the channel, put no kissing in front of Tom Dupang. Now then, please enjoy I Can't Help But Kiss You. Marinette Dupang Chang, at home with her big cat boyfriend. Cat, stop! I'm trying to watch! Marinette couldn't help but giggle as she tried to pay attention to the screen. I can't help it, he exclaimed. I'm so happy right now. He gave her cheek another peck. I get it, I get it. You've been gone for that modeling gig for a week and just got back, but... <laughs> but my marinette battery is low. He peppered her jawline with kisses. I can't help it, marinette. How are you so pretty? And when you look at me, ugh, I can't help but kiss you. Marinette sighed, her ears red. They were sitting on the living room couch, and her father stood behind it with arms crossed. Charming, she said. But, like, read the room, cat. He dared to sneak a glance at her father before peeling himself away from her, ears drooping. Hi, Dad, he said, giving him a small wave. Her father returned the gesture, keeping his face taut until he buckled over with laughter and invited her boyfriend to stay for dinner. Good. It'd been a while since she'd seen him. With Hawkmoth locked up, her relationship with her partner had dwindled. Actually, her relationship with everyone but family seemed to be put under stress, as class without Adrian changed the dynamic of the whole room. Cat dating Marinette was more of a fluke than anything, but she didn't hate it. She'd missed him, even craved him, in their time apart, even if he didn't know she was his beloved partner. So much had changed in the last six months that Marinette could barely recognize herself, but she knew dating Cat felt right. She also knew that going in public with him would cause a lot of commotion and tried to avoid doing so. She'd been successful thus far, but today, it seemed, was the day that all came to an end. Her father sent them out to go buy mushrooms for dinner, and of course, it didn't seem right for just one of them to go alone. Thankfully, the corner market was just that, around the corner. They didn't garner too much attention. Kat took a few selfies and Marinette excused herself from the shots, which helped alleviate questions. Mind if we make a quick stop first? Kat Noir asked as they left the corner store. Marinette hoped her hesitation didn't show on her face. They'd gotten lucky so far. Where to? Leon's cheese store. Ah. Uh, his Kwame must be running low on his supply. Sure thing. She grabbed his hand and began their pace. Come to think of it, she'd never held hands with him like this before. She didn't have to look to know his face was pink from the public gesture. Oops. Withholding affection in public isn't healthy, and she'd kept him from that enjoyment. She'd have to work on being more comfortable with him as her boyfriend in public. Only a select few knew for safety reasons, but still, she could tell just from his footsteps how happy it made him. Marinette took the time to look around the cheese store as Cat Noir and Leon put together a basket. Huh. 
She hadn't realized there was a small ice cream parlor in the back there. Even so, she liked the hardwood floors that accented the Tudor-style building. The entire store was an aesthetic. Had Alia come here to use it as a backdrop for her Instagram shoots before? It'd be a good idea. Wait, stop! Marinette said as they approached the checkout. Is something wrong? Kat asked. Do you want to throw something in the basket? No, no. I'll pay. You don't need to do that, he began, holding up his hands to turn down the gesture. It'd be silly for you to detransform just to get your wallet. Come on! I'm your girl. Let me be as sweet as you are for once. She could tell he was trying to come up with an answer, at a loss for words from both the gesture and what she said, and took advantage of his buffering to pull out her wallet and the cash before he could stop her. Marinette, I... He began as Leon handed her the receipt. Ah, ah, ah! She wagged a finger in his face before using it to tap her cheek. Kat's worried expression softened into that of bemusement, and he cupped her face in his hands before planting a kiss on her cheekbone. Thanks, princess. Come to think of it, even though Kat showered her with kisses to the point of exhaustion, they hadn't shared their first kiss. Uh, well, best not worry about it. It'll happen when it happens. Taking a longer route back to the bakery, Marinette and her big cat boyfriend chatted and laughed and almost dropped the cheese before they got back. Hold up, Kat said as Marinette closed the door behind them. What's up? They were at the bottom of the staircase in the back of the bakery, and these bags were kind of heavy. Kat spent a bit of time staring at the wall before glancing at her. Was he constipated or something? Wordlessly, he stepped toward her, their chests a book's distance apart as he looked down to make eye contact. Oh, was he? Cat Noir swallowed, swaying a bit as he inhaled sharply. Oh, this boy. Her hands still full, Marinette boosted herself onto tippy toes, pressing her lips to his as she closed her eyes. She felt him wrap his arms around her back, pulling her close. Oops. They'd broken her dad's book apart rule. You know, she said lowering herself down but still standing just as close in his arms. When you look at me like that, I can't help but kiss you. His face was as pink as she'd ever seen it, and although he tried to sputter a response, he ended up pressing a kiss to her cheek and hugging her ever tighter. She returned to the gesture as best she could while holding her bag. Let's go up, Kat said finally breaking away. The gesture was smooth, but Marinette was pretty sure he'd just brushed away a tear. <laughs> Silly cat. Trudging up the stairs, Marinette's heart was light, and somehow the bags didn't seem to weigh her down anymore. Huh. Maybe kisses were magic, just like her books told her. Well then, she should kiss this boy more often. Yeah. Now she knew what Kat was getting at. You can't help but kiss your partner. Thank you so much for listening. Once again, there is a lot of fanfiction on this channel. Go find something that'll suit your taste. Lots of ships, lots of options, lots of fluff, lots of kisses. If you've made it this far, don't forget to like the video and leave a comment in support of the YouTube algorithm. If you don't know what to comment, but kisses are magic. I will catch you in the next one. Bye!